Hey guys, Dogum Rocks here. Welcome to another episode of my test world. And in this episode, I'm going to show you a currency system. So, I created a small redstone mechanism here, and this mechanism can recognize gold ingots. And I got the idea from Seth Bling's video. And yeah, this is basically the same thing, except I added in a few extra things. Like it can recognize um, various blocks, but instead of blocks, this one recognizes gold ingots. And gold ingots only, it doesn't recognize anything else. So, this is really basic. Uh, yeah, so here is how it works. So, I gotta throw in, uh, I gotta first press this button. This is called the start button. Before I throw in my cash, I gotta click the start button and it's gonna start up the machine. And then I can throw in whatever block I want. It has to be a gold ingot though for it to recognize. And this machine is gonna try to recognize that gold block and basically um, it's gonna tell me whether it'll accept my offer or not. If it accepts my offer, this redstone torch will turn on. And this dispenser will dispense a diamond and I kept a glass frame there so I can't break in and take the diamonds in myself. If it doesn't accept my offer, this redstone torch will light up. First of all, I'm gonna try to teach cheat the machine by doing this yeah, I'm gonna start up the machine and now I'm going to throw in my dirt block so this screen is basically like a loading screen so loading 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 and no it denied my offer okay I'm gonna try once again come on you stupid machine give me my Give me my diamonds. So loading. So yeah, that's kind of cool. And hopefully, yes, get out of my offer. What the hell? Okay, trying to turn my. I'm gonna turn my music down right all the way to two. Okay, fine, fine, cheapskate. I'm gonna give you some gold. Hopefully, yes, and my diamond right there. Awesome. So the way this machine works is when I hit the start button, what's it's gonna cause these dispensers that have gold ingots in them to dispense a gold ingot, and gold ingot is gonna fall into this small trench here, and it's actually gonna fall as you can see. So it's gonna fall onto the very edge of the stream and it's gonna flow and get stopped by this block right there. So it's all just gonna collect over there. So next when I throw in my gold ingot, it's gonna pour. Why did I cover this up like that? Never mind. It's gonna go flow around this water and what happens is when it hits the pressure plate, it causes Where is it? Oh my god, this circuit is so confusing right now. Um, wait a minute, guys. Oh, uh, okay, okay. This gold ingot got stuck there. Okay, so that explains why. Um, yeah. So we can't afford that. So what it's gonna happen is when it hits the pressure plate, there's a small delay system here, and this delay system is just gonna delay the signal, and the signal is being sent to this gate. So this torch turns off. And at the same time, if the so imagine I threw a dirt block, so the dirt block hits the pressure plate, this um, delay circuit is fired off, and the dirt block flows through the flows through the stream, and it doesn't get collected by this gold, falls right down into the pressure plate over there, and what basically happens is uh, that causes these two torches to be turned off. Um, um, actually off at the same time um, yeah I made this circuit quite some time ago and I really can't remember how this works oh yeah so yeah when it hits the pressure plate this torch turns off and this torch turns on at the same time and because that happens so fast this redstone torch remains off oh. but if I throw a gold ingot there the gold ingot gets sucked up into that cluster of gold ingots there thus this this torch remains off because it doesn't hit hit the pressure plate that's down over there so this torch remains off this torch turns off as well 
and this torch turns on causing a small signal to be sent to this dispenser right here which dispenses diamonds so the rest of the circuit is pretty simple like uh, it's all done the redstone torches they are all hooked up to the circuit so if my request is accepted this line gets unpowered causing this redstone torch to turn on my request is not accepted this line turns unpowered so causing this redstone torch to turn on and the loading screen is basically just a small clock connected to a pulse limiter which sends the signal and the signal is delayed so this repeater powers this block which in turn powers this this powers this which in turn powers this this powers all three at the same time so like loading screen loading loading something like that yeah okay so yeah there are a few disadvantages of this uh, one disadvantage is that the gold ingots despawn after some time so like every maybe five to six minutes I don't know how much time it takes to despawn I had hit this button to cause the gold ingots to spawn again in Blink's design, the once he threw in the item, um, the pressure plate uh, would simply cause these dispensers to fire off. So I could do something like that. Um, I didn't watch the video too closely those days, and he used an ice block, so the uh, the item would slide out of this block, and it could dis it it could uh, like the circuit would figure out what this item is much more faster um, yeah another thing is you gotta throw it onto the right side left side corner if you throw it onto the right side corner nothing will happen the item will not get sucked up because then it'll be traveling on the left side of the stream no sorry the right side of the stream and the cluster of gold ingots will be right there so if it's traveling on the right side it will not get sucked up so that's a disadvantage you gotta always throw it to the left corner um, Seth Bling's video was better. I, I recommend you guys to go check it out. It's awesome. Alright, so yeah, thanks for watching. This is Dogum Rock signing off. Don't forget to rate, comment, and